Hey ballers, so I'm standing here on shore with my power vest and t-shirt on. Uh, kind of talk about this a little bit more. So, starting with the deep water start, um, when, uh, when I first got it, everybody warned me that the deep water starts could be challenging. And now I think it's just like the first time you do something really different, kind of like going from rubber to hard shells. The first time you do it, it's awkward. Now that I'm used to it, it's not an issue at all. So you'll see the line's tight here and my elbows are bent, right? This is as long as the straps will let me extend. So on the deep water start, you just have to kind of relax and get it through your head that the pull of the boat is gonna come through the straps and into the back plate. And it's actually very low effort. And you get up and you're, you're outside the course, you find yourself just kind of resting on the dowels using the, uh, the power gloves, really kind of a, I don't know if I'm allowed to call them clinchers. Sorry, Dave, good if we're not allowed to say that, but they're clinchers. <laughs> um, so you just kind of lean back on the clincher and just kind of let it go. So you come out of the buoy, you're in the course, you come out of the buoy and let's say you've got a bunch of slack. This is where this product is awesome. You go to the slack and you go, and you fall against it. I mean, hopefully you don't ski like that, but it's gonna happen. None of the power goes through your biceps and hands and shoulders. Uh, your upper back is really protected from that. You just kinda gotta drop that slack. <sighs> Nothing to it, right? Now, what's interesting is, the more you get hooked up, and I'm afraid I'm gonna fall down here in the sand if I really lean against the rope, right? But the more you get hooked up, See how the straighter my arms are? So as you go through the wakes, the, the more stacked you are, the less the, uh, the vest does. Now I suppose I could shorten the straps far enough that even here my arms would be pretty bent, but I'm kind of choosing not to do that. So with having had bicep tendon injury uh, at my elbow last year, I'm nervous, I'm pretty tentative, and the more time I spend in this vest, uh, the more secure I feel, the more I feel like I'm protecting my body. Now, it's not perfect. Um, there are some things about it I don't like. Every once in a while, I will miss grip with the gloves. And, you know, people are afraid with, with the clincher style that you're not going to release. I don't experience that at all. But I've kind of come across the top and gotten the dowel stuck on the wrong side of the handle. And that's distracting. Um, I don't like that. Uh, it's probably happened to me three times in 10 rides, so, you know, 60 balls, it's happened to me three times, so it doesn't happen a lot, and so I maybe, if I skied with it enough, I would change the way I grip the handle a little bit. Um, so there's that, and then it's probably a little bit, there's probably a little bit of a mobility issue. Uh, people worry about this, coming into the ball and reaching. That doesn't have any negative attribute, but I think your upper body is a little bit, you know, this plate in here, probably affects, affects mobility a little bit. So when I've gone from not wearing the vest for a couple of rides to wearing the vest to not wearing the vest, what I notice is when I put the vest on, the effort to ski drops radically. And I'm rounding the same number of buoys at the moment. Now I'm not skiing up near my PB, so I don't know, you know what would happen. But then when I ski without the vest, I definitely feel freer. I feel like I'm a little bit more dynamic on the ski, uh, especially coming into the buoy. I feel like I'm moving my center mass forward coming into apex. Um, and then I go back to the vest and I'm, then I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so little work. I skied without the vest four rides this weekend and I already have a blister on my hand. By the way, it's the other thing they don't, we don't talk about on the vest is it totally protects your hands too. Um, I've skied 14 or 16 sets this year and normally I'd have you know some hand pain when I went from the from wearing the power vest to wearing my normal vest and gloves my hands instantly hurt so this thing is I don't think it's a silver bullet I'm not I don't want to tell you that every skier that ever rounds buoys should buy one but darn it I'm glad I have one and I'm an advocate and if you've got any worries about uh, the health of your arms and elbows or shoulders or back, you should definitely consider this. And uh, if you want to ski a ton, like if I've got the opportunity to ski four days in a row, I need to make the adjustment, make sure I'm wearing the vest. Come August, will I be wearing it on a regular basis? I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit bipolar about it. Maybe, maybe not. So, uh, 
that's kind of my, my final word on the, on the power vest. Uh, I'm going to keep wearing it. You'll see me, uh, probably see pictures of me or video of me skiing in it as the as season goes on. Um, I think it's a great invention. I really, really suggest that more people give it a try. I, I know it's not cheap, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the, uh, than the bicep surgery I had last June and the 10 months off skiing. So give it a try. Visit good.com, check it out, or check out the other discussions here on the website talking about it. Thank you. If you're in Florida, this is a windy day in Bakersfield. Yeah, we don't ski when it's this rough. <laughs>